go. Okay, you know why John loved the Warriors so much? Because he thought the Ramones were a gang. Like he was. Right? They wore colors. Think about it, right? Forty years ago, five blocks north of here is when the players came out and went on Hollywood Boulevard. And Hollywood Boulevard was not fucking Disneyland like it is now. <laughs> it was badass. You had movie theaters back to back and grind houses. Starting west, you had man's Chinese and those called groundless Chinese, which Anyone ever go there? Okay, that's where I saw Star Wars the first morning. And as you went east, you had the Vogue, you had the Hollywood, which is where the Warriors played. All these places that were on Friday nights were packed. And then you got all the way down at the end to the World Theater, which was in the middle of an empty parking lot, which is where movies went to die, okay? You saw three movies for a dollar fifty at the world. Okay, that's where I saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And 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 that's where Rock and Roll High School played. So it's Friday night, right? You go into one of these theaters for an action movie and it's packed. Here's the four best audiences I ever saw, and I want one of you, I want you guys to be up to this level. Here's the four movies that drove them crazy, okay? Number one. Scarface. Number two, Taxi Driver. Number three, The Shining. And tonight's feature, and I want you to top that audience, The Warriors, okay? So why is The Warriors so good? Because the director, Walter Hill, is one of the best writer-directors in the world, okay? Here's what Walter made, and some of you have seen these. Streets of Fire, Hard Times, Geronimo, Wild Bill, Deadwood. He made a movie called The Long Riders, where it's full of brothers playing brothers, real brothers playing brothers. The only mistake he made is he missed four brothers. You know, the Ramones would have been great in that on horseback. How many of you remember the way Eddie Murphy sang Roxanne in 48 Hours? That's Walter as well. That's his uh, sort of anti-buddy movie masterpiece. So let's bring up Walter Hill. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm not used to speaking to thousands. Um, a crowd like this, I, I can tell you, it makes an old man happy. Uh, 40 years after the movie came out, has come out, uh, I'm surprised. I want to thank Linda, I want to thank the foundation, I want to thank Hollywood forever. We made the movie in the summer of 1978, came out in uh, February of 79, we made it for a nickel and a dime. Uh, we tried to supply a little imagination when we didn't have physical resources. But I had the greatest resources. I had the entire city of New York at our command. Great city. They were very cooperative. And I had a wonderful cast that was endlessly forgiving of their director and his demands and uh, uh, and trusting. And, and uh, I am endlessly thankful to both the city and my cast on that show. Uh, the other thing I'd just like to say, um, 40 years later, you'd like to think maybe there's a reason. Um, like the Ramones, it's not just the chord of memory that I think is being touched. We have to say that maybe something has contemporary relevance. The Ramones were a great group. They did things their own way. And I think it's a great honor for the Warriors to be associated with them. Always love them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I got a couple of questions for you. Okay, so it's kind of like the Ramones. The movie is, is like a comic book, but it's real at the same time. Was that an intentional sign? Yeah, look, the movie's kind of hard to describe. It's dystopian. It's, uh, it's 
slightly sci-fi. It's comic book rock and roll in its style. It's based on a military incident in Greek history 2,500 years ago. And it's meant to be kind of funny. Now, so, it must have been a tough shoot. How many nights did you shoot? I can't remember. Um, we, I heard it was 80 nights. Oh, How think, many of you could stay up for 80 nights working 14 hours a night? Well, if it was 80, I can't remember, but uh, if it was 80 nights, we managed not to spend any money. Well, the rumor is that in the big crowd scene, you know, the big meeting of all the gangs. That was our one exception, yeah. You had real gang members mixed in there. We did. We did. And uh, for some reason, they got along pretty good. I think they liked the message that was <laughs> the revolutionary message that was being uh, expounded by uh, Cyrus. So Now, Walter uh, is a great storyteller. He's a great visual stylist. And his movies have an incredible he, rhythm. Can, can you, did you ever play He is not a great public speaker. No? But, but did uh, you ever play the drums? Did you ever play an instrument? No, my father did. Because your movies yeah. are very musical. My father was very musical, and uh, I wanted to be, so. Okay. Well, the character that Johnny Ramone most identified with was Swan. Because Swan was a tough leader. Well, that's Michael Beck. Let's bring up right Swan. Right oh, now, <laughs> the, reason, the reason that I cast him, the reason that I cast him was that in those days, he looked exactly like me. <laughs> and still do. <laughs> and time has been kinder to him. Than, uh, no, he was... Very gifted and very special, and I was, uh, I, I have to say, I enjoyed every night when we went out and fought him. Same here. Now, Michael, Walter, to get that picture done, must have been on fire, you know, leading all you guys. You know, uh, what I loved about Walter's direction, it was always, he had a toothpick in his mouth, and if he took it out, you knew we were in trouble. And if you kept it in, you knew you did it right. So, so you you were okay. It, you're going to have a retake if the if the toothpick came out. Now we got one of the rogues here tonight. Yeah. Now, this is one of these guys that when you're watching TV and you see his face, you go, "Oh, him! He's always good. I like him." Come on up, Joel. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. How you doing, everybody? This is a love fest. Enjoy yourself. 40 years in this movie, the greatest cult film of all time. I don't know what else to say. I just don't want the ribs coming down on my neck. I hope that was the right line. Walter. Thank you. What's next? Well, I've got three words for you guys who are going to watch this movie tonight. Not my lines, but these are the three words. Can you dig it? There you go. That's true. I never could count. <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to be a Hollywood Boulevard audience Thank tonight? You. All right. Let's bring up our host, Vincent Gallo.